Dead Sad Nursery. Was your Hayu? Ya gadam popolsku. Hablamos español. If there are two consular. We speak Scots and we also study English. Hello. Ni hao. Ni hao. Buenos dias, señorita Fede. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Who's your twist, eh, Landy? No. Mira, say Marty. Landy, Marty, no. I stay in a wee village called Steenhuis. I have three good friends. Twa he Langbrun here. Language learning in Scotland, a 1 plus 2 approach, is based on the European model of language learning, whereby children learn their own language plus two other modern languages in primary school. There has been a definite move away from the pedagogy of the former modern languages in the primary school system, where the language was taught as a discrete lesson at a set time in the week. Now there's a move towards embedding the language into daily classroom routines, so that children are more comfortable and confident with hearing and using the language. Hola! Hola! Do you like Spanish? Yeah, yeah. My mum's friend sometimes comes and visit from Spain and it's good that I learn Spanish because then I can communicate with her. Mandarin is a great language to speak and it's really fun um, to learn lots of new things. Bonjour. Bonjour, Jeff. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Abby. Quel âge as tu J'ai 10 ans. Au revoir. Luis. What is on? Kayla. Scott. It's a really good opportunity and I think other people should get it too. I think we should learn about different languages, not just English. This is an incredibly ambitious strategy which is not without its challenges. For example, primary teachers need to feel confident with what they are delivering and as such an extensive primary language learning training programme has been developed to replace MLPS training. This is in order to help teachers in South Lanarkshire develop the skills and experience they need to deliver languages 1 plus 2. It can be a daunting prospect for primary teachers, but one thing to remember is that we are not expecting them to be fluent in the languages that they teach. Ni hao, Macy. Ni hao, Mrs. Butcher. Ni hao, Reeve. They need enough language and sufficient expertise in using and accessing appropriate resources to enable them to include modern language teaching readily in the day-to-day -day routines. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Ewan. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Ewan. I think it's the way that you do the lessons with the children and you just do a little bit and as you gain confidence it's not just words you can then put in a phrase and then it's questions and answers and then it's wee phrases and then they're speaking in French how they feel that day. We record our programme board in French instead of English on the days that we do our French lesson. So it's because they're just doing a little bit at a time it's not overwhelming. So it's good for teachers the children and the parents. It was a bit daunting for the staff um, um, but they've got lots of support from their colleagues and we have quite a number of people trained or in training now. We're doing it in gym time, we're doing it in even science. Um, a PLL teacher taught us how to, impl uh, how to teach French and science at the same time which I didn't think would be possible before but definitely it's definitely opened our eyes and made us more um, confident. Languages provide so many opportunities and open a multitude of doors for our learners. Developing key communication skills of reading, listening, talking. Bebo and Bothwell. Kitan, we bien. And writing, which of course are essential skills for life and work too. As well as language acquisition, learners are developing a deeper understanding of their mother tongue. And studies have shown that learning a language has a positive effect on literacy. Furthermore, the cultural impact cannot be underestimated. As young people learn about life in different countries, they develop tolerance as well as an appreciation of diversity and a more open-minded view of the world. 
I think the fact they can make connections, for example, now when we do history, we look at the Scots language and where did it come from, where did it start, how, do, how has it changed through the years. And the biggest change for me is for children to learn that it's not talking slang. It's not a chance to just use words that maybe their parents don't want them to use, but it's actually where did the words come from and what do they mean and looking at it as in a much broader way. It's part of their culture. I speak Scots. I'm ten years old. I hate blue in. I hate a big, big neb like my father tea. I'm going to blather a wee bit about my friend Rebecca. Rebecca goes to guides with me. She sends me cute messages. She got hit in the coupon with a ball. Massive ben benefits. They absolutely love it. It's great fun. It's very active. They love meeting me in the corridor and telling me some of their new French words but more importantly, catching me out when I don't know their new French words. I've seen a difference. They're starting to notice language patterns, which helps them in English. You've got some children that maybe you know, use their, their numbers in Spanish to reinforce their numbers in English, so I think it's, it's increasing their confidence as well, and they thoroughly enjoy it. I am learning French and nursery.